This is probably like the least planned university episode of all time, but you're gonna love it anyway. Do not miss this university. University of New Mexico. My name is Meacham. I have been here for the last three days with the International ACAC and so this is like the longest I've ever actually spent on a single university campus and obviously I got to do a video about it as a university episode. I'm not just gonna spend three days on a campus and not tell you about it. So that's what this is. I got to talk about the heat okay because like if you're gonna consider coming to this university especially as an international student you need to be prepared for some hot weather. It's, you know, the middle of summer. It's July right now, about 36, 37 degrees Celsius. That's a lot. Now they will tell you it's a dry heat, which means there's not a lot of humidity, so it's not so bad. That's kind of true, but it's still freaking hot. You, you need to be hydrating all the time. You need to be prepared for some high temperatures. Having said that, I sweat less than I normally do in Lima. So that's kind of cool. So look, if really hot weather for like seven months a year doesn't bother you, then you should consider coming to New Mexico. They also have some serious scholarships for international students because they're trying to attract more diversity to this campus. If you're an international student or an out of state student, you absolutely need to consider the University of New Mexico for one simple reason, the Amigo Scholarship. The Amigo Scholarship is open to any student who has a 3.5 GPA or better. And if your GPA is a little bit lower, you can make up for it with a really solid SAT score. If you put those things together, you will get in-state tuition, even if you're an out-of-state student or an international student, which brings your total cost of attendance to below $30,000 a year. That makes this university one of the best deals available for international students. I can't believe I missed this when I made my video about in-state tuition offers for internationals. The only catch is you gotta apply early because they cut that off at February 15th. Make sure you apply early to University of New Mexico if you want to get the best deal possible. Something else I kind of love about this university is the style of these buildings. Like they all kind of look like they belong on Tatooine. It's very emblematic of this whole city. Albuquerque has this sort of adobe old school style. And I just love the way the buildings look. They look like they were carved out of the sand or something. I mean, you can see this one here and just like, these flat roofs and these curved corners. It's, it's a very unique architectural style that I have never seen anywhere else. Definitely reminds you of like pictures of Egypt or Morocco, other desert places. But I think it gives this campus a very unique look, something I've never seen anywhere else. I have to say out of all the campuses I've visited, this is easily one of the most unique looking places to study. There's always music in the background. It's very nice.
Programs are another thing that make this university extremely unique. They have the only flamenco degree program that's in the United States, Latin American studies, Hispanic studies, indigenous studies. This is New Mexico. This is a state where 50% of the people are Hispanic, 20% speak Spanish, and there's a huge and active indigenous population. I can think of so many people in Peru who have indigenous heritage and would love to come to a university where that is celebrated and explored further. There's also really good programs in architecture and anthropology because of the presence of you know, Native American ruins nearby. Like these guys actively explore and study these old cultures of the Americas. I almost forgot to tell you guys about the amazing film studies program here because oh my God, they literally have a campus across the street from Netflix Studios. Netflix opened up a studio center here in Albuquerque and UNM students get to practice at Netflix. Like literally you could study film here and then go work at Netflix the next day. And if that doesn't sound like a great idea for film studies, I don't know what does. There's also a really good medicine program here, but it is extremely competitive. People come from all over the country to finalize their medicine studies in the University of New Mexico. And we're talking like 160 people can get those spots in a given year. So I wouldn't necessarily tell you to bank on UNM for your medicine degree because it's extremely competitive, but they do have really good medical programs also at the undergraduate level, like the nursing program here or emergency medical services, like this student right here who told me all about her experience. Uh, my name's Nicole. All right, Nicole, what do you study here? I study EMS, so emergency medical services. I'm gonna be a sophomore this year. I grew up in Albuquerque, and when I had moved away, I wanted to come back, so I just decided that college is the perfect time, and I love the weather here. <laughs> yeah, you moved away to where? Texas. Texas, okay. Mm -hmm. So you, got, you kind of started missing home, wanted to come yeah. back here? Yeah, I like American Indian Student Services, as well as like Zimmerman, the Indigenous Nations Library Program. That space is really nice, as well as the silent study zone in the West Wing of Zimmerman. So I make these videos a lot for international students, especially kind of mm -hmm. thinking about them. Uh, do you have any interactions with internationals on campus? Do you, do you, what, what would you say maybe to some internationals considering UNM? It's a very like welcoming community because Albuquerque, like it seems like a big city, but it's a very tight knit area, and especially like the people who work over there at Pope Joy like they're very friendly and like they're very welcoming to everybody in the community and it's just a really nice like space to be in. Thank you appreciate that. People are so nice here by the way like so far everybody I've talked to just wants to sit and talk and have a conversation and everybody's very friendly very collaborative. The city of Albuquerque I gotta be honest I mean yes it's extremely hot. This heat does not play around. Yes it does sometimes rain like a downpour. I'm telling you, it's gonna flash. It was flashing like crazy as soon as, uh, there we go, oh, that was a good one. But it's actually a very friendly city. Everybody here is super nice. I've been feeling extremely welcomed here in Albuquerque. It's a little weird, people here are a little weird, but you know, I think it's kind of like a good weird, like it's, genuine odd people in a city that seems to accept them. They always use this term, a culture of contrast, where you have these extremes and these very different kinds of people here on campus and in the city, and I've seen that. I've seen this contrast, these wildly different people. It's an extremely diverse city, and I think that that makes it a very unique environment. And as an international student, I know you're gonna feel welcome here because this place has every kind of person in it. it you, no matter how weird you are, you will be at home in Albuquerque. Applying to the University of New Mexico is a teeny bit tricky because they're not on the Common App. You gotta go to their website and apply directly to the university. Do not miss this university. Even though they're not in the Common App, you should definitely check them out and apply. I know it's a little bit of extra work to do another application, but considering the offers that are available here, you really should give it a look. I wanna say thank you so much for watching this to the end. Uh, if you guys have made it this far, it means a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you check out the University of New Mexico. Please go to their website, look at their application, talk to people like Pablo or Nicole if you have any questions. I have had nothing but a great time at this week uh, on this conference at this university. I wanna say a big thank you to Nicole and to Pablo for taking the time to talk to me about their university and really for putting on this entire event because these guys hosted the IACAC conference. If you wanna know more about what that looks like, check out the video I made on it, but nothing but big ups to Nicole and Pablo for their work here. They did an outstanding job. It was my first conference and 
Honestly, it was an amazing experience. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.